So, do you want to follow the World Cup in Power BI? Then you've come to the right place. We've already started building the Power BI files, so make sure you check part one. But today, part two. Stay tuned. Okay, so welcome back. This is Ruth Potuelo from Curval.com and today we're going to continue building on the Power BI report of the World Cup. So, on part one, we actually went to the FIFA website, we downloaded data about the matches and the groups, and uh, we didn't do anything else, it's just Power Query, uh, mostly. And in part two, we're also going to do again a lot of Power Query, because we're going to start creating the first report, and I'm going to create the match report, so you will be able to know absolutely anything there is to know about when is playing who and where, okay? So this is the idea. So we are going to have a report where you can say, you can click by group and see when they are playing. So for example, I'm following Spain and Sweden. Spain is in group B. So if I click on group B, I will be able to see when the Spain group is playing. But let's say that I want to take vacation when my favorite team is playing then you will be able to actually go to the report and you can actually you know, click on group B so you uh, narrow the number of countries or you could actually uh, go to the country filter and select Spain and you will be able to see when Spain is playing. I haven't been able to see that on the website, don't know, but I haven't looked that far up to be honest. But we will be able to, of course to do it in Power BI. And you will be able to see when play, Spain is playing so you can take your vacation. Uh, hopefully we will have to do a lot of, take a lot of days off <laughs> to see the world match if it goes well. So if you just want to know, okay, today is the 20th of June, who is playing? You will be, be able to click on a calendar on the 20th and you'll see which matches are on in case you're just, you know, a football fanatic and you want to see all the matches. So. This is basically all you need about, you know, when is a game happening. Um, so if there's something else you would like to know, let me know in the comment box and we will fix that. Uh, but this is today's game plan. Let's do it. Let's go to Power BI and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so this is the final results. This is what we're going to create. It doesn't look so nice for now. We will do, you know, the makeover later, the colors and all that stuff. But um, just so you see what we're going to build, we will be able to filter by a group. And that will filter the uh, map. It will filter the calendar. And we will see, for example, group B where Spain plays. We will see all the matches that are for group B. We can then, of course, we remove that, pick Belgium, and we will see which matches Belgium will play. Um, we can also see the days in the calendar. And of course, we can click on any date in the calendar and see who is playing that day. So we have everything we need, <laughs> right, to, to be able to know when our best teams are played. So how do we do this? Let's do that in our, you know, Power BI file. I'll walk you step by step. So here is actually where we left it the last time. Okay, we have two tables, matches and the groups. And um, something that we can build right away is the group. We have that. Um, Already, because we are going to do a mobile version, we will do these big buttons so we can actually tap on them with the finger. So that part is done. Um, I had a, a... Let's see, not with time. I had a, a team. Oh, I don't have it here. Okay. So um, one of the things that you're going to notice is that in the matches table, we have this pivoted. So we have team A, team B, instead of having a list of teams. And this is not very good for um, working with Power BI. You always want to have unpivoted things often. And another thing that I don't like is this group A, group, 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 group. We're going to remove that. So we're going to go to 
Power Query. Let's take care of this group thing. Uh, what we're going to do is, is extract uh, text after the limiter, and that will be the space. So now we have ABC. I, I think it's a better user experience, basically. Uh, now, because we don't want to lose which uh, matches we're going to have, before we unpivot this, we need to create a column, an index column. And instead of calling it index, we're going to call it match ID. And we want to start by one. So now we have the match ID, so we can actually unpivot these two. I still want to have them like they are. It might get useful. And they will, you'll see. So I'm going to duplicate team A and team B. And I also think it's a better user experience to have um, to have it like these uh, matches. And we're going to have team A. I have to close my email account. That's probably a good idea, not much ID. Team B. And now we have them like that, okay? Uh, just a second. So, uh, where were we? Yes, we are going to unpivot these two. We go to transform and pivot, and you will know now what I mean with that when I say unpivot. You see? So now we have uh, the teams. We will have duplicates, but now we have the match ID, so that is cool. And uh, this value we want to change to teams. You can of course change it uh, as another step, but I'd rather say that. We don't need the attribute, so now we have uh, teams, matches, match ID, uh, and I want these to be text. Okay, close and apply. Here we go. So now we can, can continue building this thing. Uh, we have Teams, world map. And this is the location. And let's do it. Again, we will do the actual um, formatting a bit later, but just do some basic stuff. Um, now we have the maps, we have the groups, and uh, what we had, if you remember, it was a calendar here. So how do we get that? It is actually a um, calendar from the marketplace. Calendar, this is the one. Okay, so click outside, click on that, put date. And as a measure here, we want to have... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see, count match ID, which is this distinct count of match ID. So we are putting it in there, and now we see uh, when we have these uh, games. And the next thing we need to do is the teams. If you remember, we had also a horizontal because it's mobile. We could put the flags, but it will take such a, a lot of space. We'll see how we do that later. And then here we have date. Ooh, I hate this. We have um, match, 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 match. Okay, now that we counted the match ID, we don't need it anymore. We can actually hide it. 
table, please. And we have time and then we have group. Now, I think it would be fantastic if we could actually have uh, the flags. And uh, here's the thing, I haven't really figured out how to, you know, pass the flags to the teams. I've, I've actually managed to pass the URL, but they, it's shown as a URL, not as a visual, and I don't want that. So, um, I don't know. This is really not correct either. Uh, so, we'll see. What we're going to do, uh, I mean, uh, for these purposes is just to pass the URLs directly into Power Query. It's absolutely not something that you want to do if you have a lot of data. This is just, you know, a create and throw away after a while Power BI file. So for now, it'll do. So we're going to get team A, team B, do a merge. Here we're going to merge the URL. And we're going to do exactly the same thing again for team B. So we get the flags for team B too. Again, this is not something that I recommend to do at all. Okay, this is just, I need to figure out how to pass the flag. Not, not just the text, you know, the flag. I don't know even if, I don't even know if it's possible, but if you know, let me know in the comment box right away. So we get that out of the way. Um, Okay, URL, URL one. Let's give it some names. Uh, this is going to be team a flag. And this is going to be team b flag. Yay. And then we take those, they are going to be text, thank you, close and apply. And I'll show you the results in a second. So before we do anything else, we need to go here, team A flag, it has to be again as a image URL. And we have team B flag, it has to be image URL. And once we have that in place, look at this team A flag, team B flag. And now it looks gorgeous. Oh, no, it doesn't look gorgeous, but it's starting to take shape. And you can do the things that we said you could do. Group, you can filter by country. Let's remove that one. Is it Brazil? And you can filter by date. And everything will filter accordingly. It's super, super good, isn't it? Okay, so that was fun, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. This is starting to take shape. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue building on the report. We're far, far, far from ready. But if there are things that you say, oh, I would love to be able to do, mm, just let me know in the comment box, okay? So we can build this thing together. It would be a lot of fun. Uh, I will definitely continue. There are more things that I would like to be able to do with the report. And, uh, it is going to be fantastic. Anyhow, um, let's not do this video longer. Uh, I'll see you again on Friday. Okay, DAX Fridays. Let's see if it will be a FIFA DAX Fridays. I'm not sure what measures I will need. So, you know, I am building it live. I, uh, so, yeah, we, we will see, basically. But I'll see you again on Friday. Take care. Bye.